Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to discuss another problem. But before going forward, if you have not liked the video, please like it, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. So without any further ado, let's get started. So problem is permutation and string. We have earlier done similar problem like this. The problem was anagram. So we have to find all anagrams. I'll uh, give the link in the description. After this problem, you can check that problem also. So let's see what this problem is. We'll be given two strings and we need to return true if S2 contains a permutation of S1. Means this is S2. We need to check whether there is S1's permutation present in this S2 or not. Permutation means like we can rearrange the characters of S1. So S1's characters could be rearranged and we need to check whether S1 rearranged characters, whatever S1 is, uh, any any permutation of S1 is present in S2 or not. So over here, if we see this test case, see, this is S1. S1's permutation could be what? BA. Like we can rearrange the characters. So BA will be the permutation. And this BA is present here in S2. So we will return true. If we see the second test case, over here, uh, we have this S1. But this S1 permutation also and S1 itself also is not present anywhere, anywhere here. Here BOA is there. But we should ideally have BA. So false we will return. So I hope you understood the problem. Let's see the test cases. So over here if you see uh, length of S1 and S2 could be at max 10 raised to power 8. So ideally you should be using O of N approach. O of N time approach. O of n square may get accepted, but ideally optimized approach which will be will be either O of n log n or O of n. Right. So you can try that whether O of n square works or not, but uh, there could be a approach for like first of all there should be an approach for O of n square. So let's see how we can approach this problem, right? See over here this test case we'll take. So we have this S2 and this is S1. So we need to check with we need to check whether this S1 is any permutation. So let's say BA. BA is a permutation. We are rearranging the characters. So this BA is it present here? This yes, it's present here. So output will be true. Right guys. So see guys, we need to see we need to check permutation. So permutation we need to check. Now permutation could be this also, permutation could be this also. So if you think, if you try to think that, uh, okay, I will do one thing. Uh, this is uh, like what? This is two letters. Uh, first A is there, then B is there. I will just check whether first A is there, then B is there. First A is there, first B is there. Like, is, there is there any substring like that or not? Any substring like that or not? But this approach will not be correct. Why? Because every time, it's not necessary na, that we have to check this only. We have to check any permutation of this S1. So permutation means that these letters could rearrange also. So BA could be also there. So BSAC, AB was not there in this strain, but this its permutation, which is BA, was there. Right. So the this thinking is absolutely not uh, incorrect that we will be checking like uh, first character and then second character like that. No. Because characters could be different. Here A is different. Here, here A is there, then over here B is there. So that approach is not correct. Now see, one thing which is common between this A B and its permutation. What do you guys think is common? Yeah. So see, uh, common is that they have same characters. They have same characters, and frequency of character is also same frequency of each character what does this mean see what does this mean over here if you see we have see we have a also a also we have b also b also so permutations permutations will have same character only because we are just rearranging the characters and the count of characters will be also same here one a is there here also one a here two b 
uh, here also one b here also one b right so what are these called these are called as anagrams of each other these are called as anagrams anagrams are uh, we are just rearranging the words those are called anagrams so basically what we need to do over here is we need to check we have we are given this s2 string and we need to check whether there is any anagram of s1 that is permutation of s1 present here or not and any permutation of s1 will be having what same characters will be there so if let's say here ba is there we can know that this is a permutation of this s1 by how we can just compare we can just compare whether they have same letters a is there b b is there right so this is one understanding that how we will be able to check whether permutation is there or not we will be comparing characters right so i hope you understood this point we will be comparing characters now see guys every time see here here what we have here we have this ab na we have this ab so what you will be thinking that what we can do we can just every time check two characters every time two correct check two characters and we just check we just check whether these two characters are ab or like these two characters has a and b or not like if this is a or this is b like that or this is b or this is a so every time uh, we will take two two length substring we will take two length substring na and we will check uh whether they have same letters or not as in like uh, same letters are there same characters and the frequency also but every time see what you are doing then you are comparing every time each substring you are comparing with this string so this you can how avoid you can create a you can create a character array as in you can take a character array in which you can store these so then you will be able to check by o of one time like we can simply check whether there is character uh, a like uh, we can just store these characters so for that we can make a character array of 25 size because there are 26 letters and here a is count will be stored here b is count here will be count stored how many a's are there in the s1 so right now a is 1 and b is also 1 and rest of these will be zero because there is no c d e everything in till z in s1 so see one problem we have fixed that every time now we will not be again and again checking this string we have just stored it in the uh, in this array you can say this is a character array right so this is one thing now there are two ways to check uh, the substrings either you can have two loops either you can have two loops right or you can use see every time our window will be what our window like every time we have to check a substring of size what s1 because s1 only we need to check na whether it's in s2 or not so length of s1 we will be checking every time does this is uh, a permutation of s1 is this a permutation of s1 is this a permutation of s1 right this we will be doing so for this we can use sliding window approach why sliding window because every time we have this window this two length window which we need to every time check also over here we have to check substrings we we need to check na whether permutation is there so permutation is what substring only na so whenever substring is there and a fixed you have a window then you can use sliding window approach right we can use sliding window approach let's see how we can do that we will dry run the code uh, we will dry run once then we will uh, see the code you will get better understanding so see what we do what we will do is this we have na this array we, uh, this string we have so uh, what we can do is see we will take two pointers we will have because we need to uh, maintain a window na we need to maintain a window of what of how many letters of two letters and i will be starting of the window and j variable will tell us the ending this will be the ending index 
ending index of window and this will be the starting index of the window right so initially i am taking both i and j at 0 both i and j i am taking here all right now see what we will do we will check and also also we will have a variable total characters how many total characters in the window we got as of now so how many characters i want I'm, i want that two characters these a and b should be there na? so initially i'm taking it as size of s1 that i want these two characters a and b in my window then only i will get a permutation then i'll return true so initially i'm taking total characters as two and when this will be zero means i have got all my characters you will understand how see uh, what we are doing is we have initialized uh, at 0 0 and then we will do what uh, this we will check this s2 of j what is s2 of j it's e na we will check whether this e is in this whether this e is a part of s1 or not s1 is part how we will check whether it's s1 is part or not we will check this character array here e is count will be zero means it's not present in s1 so we will just move j ahead we just move j ahead now we will check again is s2 of j s2 of j is what i is it part of s1 i's count here will be zero only because it was not here na? so it's also not present and right so we'll go ahead right and i is here only i is here only now what we will check we will check whether this d whether this d uh, over here we will but right now see just check before checking that just see this once that over here our window j our window is what of three letters now so i is here and j is here so one two three it is of three letters but ideally our window should be what of two letters now because we need to find s1 so now we have to reduce our window we have to reduce our window so how we will reduce our window we will we will shift i so e i we will shift to this so i will now come at one index now our window is of two size so that's fine now we'll move j ahead j ahead and we will see now this b is b present in the s1 sync yes b was present b is present right so now what we will do is we will we have found one letter we have found b so we will reduce that we have found one character so now how many characters we want to find one one only we have to find and since we included b in our window we will decrement its size will now we will make it zero because we have included it now there is no more necessity of b so we have just decreased its uh, we have decremented its count now again see guys here i is here and j is here and see again the window is of three length I, ideally it should be of two length so we will shift i ahead again now our window is correct now it's fine right now see over here we will j we will move j ahead again so j will come at a so is s2 of j present in s1 s2 of j is what a a is present in s1 a's count is one which means it's present in s1 so we again found a character so now we do we will decrement it we do, do not require any more characters to be found and also here decrement its count right and see we have over here we have see we have total characters we got zero means we have found a window we have found a window uh, and i you will also decrease because i this window is of size 3 so i you will come i'll come here so now see you have got a window of size uh, all, all these characters so from from this we will check if total characters is zero means there is nothing to be found hence we found all the characters of s1 so if total characters is zero means return true we found a permutation 
Why we are keeping this total characters? Because see, if we do not keep this total character variable, na, then every time we have to check for each substring for each window. For each window, we need to check this map that whether whether we got got all the characters or not. Whether this window, this VA has all the characters present in the map or not. So we have to every time do O of n time or O of n work like checking in the map as in O of something like O of you can say K of like S1's length so S1's length N1 but with with, the, with this variable we can simply know that okay if it's zero means we found all the characters so this is the benefit of using this variable you will better understand when you try run yourself right so don't worry if you're not able to understand let's move ahead so here we got yeah here we got this uh, total characters as zero so we will return true from it so we'll not we'll not go further right so uh, also see when we are what we are doing is let's say we have something like this we have over here b we have b here right we have b here so let's say our i i is here and j is here so we got b1 so we will decrease decrease the count and j, j this will go here right so yeah so my point is like let's say we have this kind of uh, situation b i um let's say a we have this kind of situation and our i is here and j is here so we saw that now the window is of window and and are like uh, this thing our character array is something like this that a b has one one right now we will see that okay we got a so our total character we will total characters will decrease by one because we got one character but now this window is of size three we need to remove this ith character we need to reduce our window so when we will decrease this b na here b will be zero because this b was considered now when we are decreasing this b when we are removing this from the window now this will be the window na so this b will not be included hence we need to find another b so total characters then we will increment by one because since we excluded this b there is a need s1 was this na so a we found but now there is a need to find b because this is now excluded from the window so when your ith character was a part of s1 and you are excluding it then two things you need to do one is so you have to increment its count here because now it's available now it's available and secondly you have to increment total characters because now we have to find a, one more character because that's not included in a window so i hope you understood the approach and the dry run let's see the code once uh it's not complicated see code uh, the, the approach is not complicated it's just that when you understood each and every concept na, that why we are using this variable why we are using this map then you will better understand right so let's see the code once java code will be in the description see we have taken this character array this character array we have taken this is character array right and then what we are doing is we are storing the count of each character in map this we are going through s1 right if you remember what we did was we stored all the characters a b's count here then we are taken three uh, these variables i j total characters as size of s1 because we need to find these many characters because we have to find s1 na? so it will have these many characters now we'll go uh, we have we have this while loop and what we are checking is so see this increment thing how this works na j plus plus if you know like see j plus plus works me uh, means that first of all this value will be evaluated and then once it's evaluated then it will increment so what we are doing over here is we are checking uh, what is that s2 j what is that s2 j so here we were checking now what is that s2 j so if it is uh, greater than if its count is greater than zero means it is in s1 
then we have to do two things first though we have to decrement this total character because we found a character which was in s1 and secondly we have to decrement its count here because now it's included in the window so using this thing using this minus minus we are decrementing its count in the map and total characters also we are decrementing if total characters is zero means we found the all the characters so return true and now this is a shifting of the window here we are doing shifting of window that is how see if j minus i is equal to s1 size then we need to remove whatever is present in i ith index so if you remember here this was present at ith index we have to remove it so after, for removing we have to do two things one is so we have to increment its count here because now it's available now we have to find it and secondly since we have to find it so total characters will now increase total characters will increase and this m uh, this characters count in the map you will increase it right so after this if not true then you can return false so if you submit this it's getting accepted right so java code uh, will be in the description let me know uh, yeah let's let, yeah let's discuss time complexity first so time complexity is o of n and space complexity is again you can say o of uh, n1 where n1 is length of s1 because we are uh, sorry oh, space complexity will be a constant only because we are taking o of this 26 size array na? so it will be constant you can see o of 26 or you can say it's constant right so let me know if you have any doubts and if you found the video helpful please like it subscribe to my channel and i see you in the next video